So last time we killed a dragon and an evil sorceress, and now we have a cool hat. Uh, I think I wanted to sell the rest of my artifacts to that weird libertarian wizard. Do I have any more besides the, the cool hat? Where are my artifacts? There's like a dragon tooth? I sold the dragon tooth. Well, he gave me the tower, I hope. Yo, where's my tower? I must be blind. Tower. The tower statue. Awesome. Which dragon did you kill? I killed Timo Farrar so that Deacon could have his freedom. And also so I could collect the loot. Is that all my artifacts? I felt like there was one more I could go sell. Maybe I'm just thinking of the mask. Well, let's check the journal. The dragon's tooth has been recovered and is now in your possession. It should probably be brought back to Ayala and turned over to her unless you wish to keep it. Okay, where's the dragon's tooth? Dragon tooth. Dragon tooth. Dragon tooth. Did they put out an enhanced edition of Neuroner Knights 2? Uh, no. But I don't think that game needs one. That's not so old that you can't run it on modern PCs, I think. Um, one of the expansions for Neuroner Knights 2, uh, Mask of the Betrayer, is like in, in my top 10 favorite games of all time. It's very good. Where is my dragon's tooth? Dorna, do you have my dragon's tooth? Did I sell my dragon's tooth? Well, let's not worry about it. Unless Dorna has it. Dorna has nothing. Okay. So, what now? I guess we go talk to Master Drogon. Ooh, we have so much money. We are loaded. Oh, time for the long walk back. The dragon's tooth is in a chest in Anor Londo. You know, I am um, in Dark Souls on PC. I got the full Havel set to do PvP with, like a, like a cosplay PvP. And I ran into someone who could parry the dragon's tooth like literally every time without fail. And I was like... I was so impressed. I guess that's just how good you get if you play forever. I mean, it is obviously a slow weapon, but still, that was crazy. And uh, since, you know, I was doing cosplay, I didn't have any, any backup plans. So I was just like, well, I guess this guy is going to kill me. <laughs> can you hack always parry? Can you do that with hacks? I know you can like one hit kill curse people and stuff. I didn't know you could auto parry. It was on PC though. I'm keeping the mask. Dragon's tooth. Mummified hand. Okay, it doesn't actually say I sold this. It's just in my completed quest for some reason. Did I sell the dragon's tooth? I feel like I have like a vague memory of selling the dragon's tooth. Now the problem with the Havel cosplay is that if they can kill Havel, they can kill you. No. No, I'm better than Havel. <laughs> I just think he looks neat. Uh, there's also a crosswords and word games category on Twitch. I think they need to do a little uh, a little cleaning up because uh, the regular crosswords category is way more popular.
I could do spelling bee on stream and then you'd see how powerful my brain really is, which is not at all because uh, uh, I can't form anagrams of anything. Spelling bee is a New York Times game where you, um, it gives you like uh, one, two, three, six or seven letters and you have to make words with them. I get like three, three words and I'm like, well, that's all I got. And then there's like 50 words. Oh, I forgot we had this plus one scimitar. Where's my watch? Is my watch is my watch dead? 56%, alright. Okay. I don't remember what happens at this point in the game. I'm pretty sure when I started streaming this, I'm like, I know. Oh hey, it's Drogan. When I first started this, I'm like, I know everything about this game. There's nothing, there's nothing I don't remember and nothing that will surprise me. It turns out I don't know anything. I was like reading about builds and people know so much about the mechanics of this game that just never entered my head. You should be in bed, you stubborn dwarf. Look at you. Your legs are shaking. The poison has still not completely left your system. <sighs> Enough, woman. Drogon is sick of women. Yeah, I sold all the artifacts. I hope that's cool with you guys. Uh, I haven't found anything. What happens if I say that? This is like the, the major story point. I don't feel like my character would say that, so I'm not going to say that, but it's kind of interesting. Maybe he'll just be like, don't lie to me. The story's going to move forward anyway. Why is he going? Oh, because I'm hovering over him with my mouse cursor. He's green because he is a friend, as is my bear. Uh, only give him the tower statue. Ah, it went well. I have the broken tower statue here. Boom, boom, boom. Ah, good, good. Well done, my girl. Let's see it, shall we? What's this? This is definitely the tower statue, but it's been broken. And there's something inside of it? How very odd. It was accidentally broken by the kobold I got it from, but I don't know what's inside it. I don't know anything about that. That's how I got it. Look, I did what you asked. Is my final test over? I sure hope there's a reward after all that work. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna go with option one here. Broken by a kobold, you say? Hmm. Well, believe it or not, that may have been a fortuitous turn of events. Can't do old dwarf voice. I'm sorry. We do not normally go about breaking magical artifacts we find, you see. And so we would not have realized that the statue was a container and not the artifact itself. And inside, a crystal. Oh, I know what that is. A crystal giving off far, far more power than we detected previously and had radiation shielding. Perhaps the statue itself was shielding the crystal from detection. How interesting. I must admit, however, that I've never seen anything of its like before. Is there anything you've learned about this crystal during your adventure, Gunnar? <laughs> Only that Jinna was seeking it for someone else. But not why. Hmm. A true mystery, then. Well, it is no longer safe here. Whoever sent Jinna to retrieve it will no doubt try again. I will need to take this crystal and get it looked at by someone who knows of such things. Until then, Gunnar, I thank you. Are you certain that is wise, Drogon? Whoever wants this crystal would be keeping an eye out for you, don't you think? They already felled you once. And what do you propose, Ayala? I will not huddle in my home out of fear. Uh, I'm simply suggesting that perhaps Gunnar might be better suited to taking this artifact to be identified. No one will be watching her. Uh, 
Uh, you want me to take the artifact somewhere? Why? I'm not interested in going anywhere. How sure can you be that no one will be watching for me? Master Drogon is far more capable than I am, I am sure. Um, I'm going to go with number four. Perhaps. But Iala has a point when she says that they have taken me down once. Whoever is behind this knows who I am, but I doubt they know who you are. Wow. That's, that's a veiled insult right there. And truth be told, I suppose I am not fully recovered from the poison. I would be no match for anything they would surely send my way. Uh, sorry, I have yawned like five times in the last five minutes. Your final test is over, my girl. My dear girl, I am no longer your master. All I can ask you as a peer and proud former tutor that you undertake this dangerous mission. I would be honored, Master Drogon. Why not? Sounds like fun. And just what do I get out of it? Spare me the compliments. I suppose it will get me out of here. I'm going to go with number two. Ha! I'm glad to see you. Don't let any of this business get to you. I think you will do just fine, dear girl. The man you will need to show the crystal to is an old friend by the name of Garrick Halassar. An expert in the field of Dwemer analysis, as it were. And where would I find this, Garrick? Hmm, now that's a good question. I'd assume he's still out in the Anorak Desert, digging up Netheri's artifacts. He took the caravan out of Hilltop headed there about a year back. If you are referring to the Halfling Strogan, that caravan is in Hilltop now. Truly, that is most fortunate. They might even know exactly where Garrick is then. There you go, Gunnar. You can travel with the caravan. I am ready to go. Wait, let me make sure I'm I'm not confident. It should copy over their inventories. Yeah, I'm ready to go. Good. If the gods smile on us, then the situation is not as dire as I feared. If not, well then, wish you the best of luck. The caravan makes slow progress as it leaves Loud. the top, trudging through snowy hills for several weeks before finally the vast wasteland of the Anorak Desert opens up before you. This is a parched land, said to be the bones of the once great Netheral Empire, its complete destruction a mystery, lost to the passing of ages. And for some reason, I thought there was like a dungeon at the end of chapter one, but here we are in the interlude. Uh, the dungeon I must be thinking, I, I must be thinking of a later dungeon. What? What did I do that would be worthy of such a suspicious tone, I wonder? I have two words for you, dear cousin. Bandits and asleep while on watch. That's more like five words. And besides, I had a full stomach that night. You can't expect a man to stay awake all night after eating a full pot roast, can you? <sighs> Just be careful, will you? Jashnaya's predicted some trouble, and I don't want to take any chances. Huh. Jashnaya is always predicting trouble. So true. Between you and your companions and that odd little kobold we hired on outside of Hilltop, our group is much larger than it normally is. I'm surprised we haven't drawn more attention by now. I trust crossing the desert isn't completely unbearable. You'll be all right for the night. Did you say you hired a kobold? I did. Haven't you seen him? My first impulse was that it wouldn't be a good idea considering the trouble we had earlier, but this fellow seems pretty earnest. Not only that, he seemed pretty desperate to hire on. I'm paying him almost nothing, although his cooking skills have been pretty questionable. I suppose you get what you pay for. Is his name Deacon? That's it. 
I'd almost forgotten. He spends all day with Deshnaya, so I've barely seen him. She seems to have taken a shine to the creature, oddly enough. I'm surprised you haven't spotted him. He mentioned you several times when we first spoke. Ah, I hate this desert. I should get some sleep. Do you think there's going to be trouble? Uh, what did he say? Oh, something about you being a great hero and how he wanted to be just like you. It was cute, actually. Maybe I should go and speak to him. If you like. You might want to wait until the morning, however, as mostly everyone's retired for the evening. It's up to you. I'll leave you alone then. You can handle yourself, I'm sure. Just be careful. The desert gets colder than you'd think during the night, and don't wander too far from the fire. If you need any assistance or have any questions, Zidane here can help you out. He's the guide I hired for us back at Black Sands. I would be most pleased to help however I am needed. Yes, well, that's good. As for me, the desert makes me tired and cranky. I'm going to bed. Good night to you both. Really? We're under attack. It's an ambush. Everyone arm yourselves. How about I save my game? Thought I'd get to talk a, a little bit and walk around the camp. Uh, bear. Need bear? Barkskin bear. Oh, I'm barkskinning myself. Holy crap. Uh, let's summon a creature. Uh-oh. Wow, I got three attacks of opportunity on me and I survived all of them? I think you guys are in trouble. Stinger Officer. Stingers look like a bizarre variant of centaur with the lower bodies of scorpions. Their human half is red-skinned, hairless, and almost inhumanly handsome. Really? Are you sure? Their faces are preternaturally calm. Inhumanly handsome. You guys are so lucky I don't want to risk casting Call Lightning right now. Oh no, they got a little... They got a little... Oh, critical hit! Don't critical hit me. Uh, we could be in trouble. The human half is Dwayne Johnson, credited then as The Rock. I've seen that movie. There was a cool scene with him and uh, it was Michael Clark Duncan, right? Where they were going to have like a sword fight, but then as soon as they their swords hit against each other, they both broke. So they decided to like choreograph like a wrestling fight. Pretty cool. Uh, I'm in trouble. Is Dorna alive? Dorna. Badly wounded officer. St officer near death. This guy's near death. Oh, they just killed that guy. Uh, casting a spell would be really good, but also I might die. But I might die anyway, so um, let's go for it. Concentration success. All right. That's good. All right, we made it. I mean, some of these guys did not make it. Wait one second. What were those inhumanly handsome creatures? Those? Stingers, they're called. Half man, half scorpion. I haven't seen them on the last two trips, though. Last two trips through. It was too much to hope that I'd never see them again, I suppose. I see. Oh, man. I'm reading like an American. But that's not important right now. Have you seen Zidane or not? Well, I played Final Fantasy IX. Uh, I don't know. No, he's not. He was out here fighting. I saw him. Damn it anyway. We need him in order to cross the desert. You guys have crossed the desert like a ton of times and you still need a guide? For what? Point out where the best rocks are? Darius, is there any sign of him? Nope, nothing. He just up and vanished, as near as I can tell. Damn it. I knew this was too good to be true. We can't go anywhere without our guide or we'll be lost for sure. Did one of the dead guys get up? Oh yeah, he's uninjured now. Wait a second. I thought you'd been across this desert before. Oh, hey. 
That's the question I was asking. Yes, of course, but none of us are natives. The Anorak Desert is huge. Unless you want to risk wandering off to your death, you have a you have a guide with you. Have have you tried a compass? Let me put it this way. We can head back to Black Sands and hope we don't get lost in route and delay our trip by about a week hiring a new guide. Or you can volunteer yourself to go and look for Zidane and pray to the gods that those stingers haven't torn him apart for a late night snack. Your choice. <sighs> oh, persuade. I have high persuade. I could use a little incentive. Success. I suppose I really don't like the possibility of a delay any more than you do. But I'm hardly in a position to be throwing about gold. How about this? I'll give you 500 gold if you bring the guide back. Then I'll talk to him about how much of that is coming out of his own pay. That's 500 gold. We're getting paid. That's a very good persuade check. So I trust that's settled then. Should you need any supplies, by the way, I have plenty in store to sell you now. To sell you now. Yeah, maybe I need more coffee. I have to buy my supplies off of you? Show me what you have in stock. I have some questions. I think we need to renegotiate my reward for... I think it's a pretty good reward. Let's see what she has in stock. Sure thing. Watch the sticky fingers, however. I have enough trouble keeping my eyes on Tarius. All right. Unfavorable. Well, you know what? I don't like you either. Okay, a bunch of normal armor. Boots of striding. Where's my boots of striding? How much did that sell for? Um, like encumbered almost. I guess I am wearing heavy armor and a shield. Medium armor. I have this silly cloak. But I can give it to Deacon. So I'll hang on to it. Uh, oh well. What do we got? Oh, you have your own silly cloaks. Weapons, basic weapons, potions. I think I'm good on potions, actually. Resurrection. I can, oh, I can use those because they're divine. That's extremely expensive, though. No thanks. Scarab of protection, amulet of natural armor. Oh, she has magic bags. But she has an even better magic bag for, like, is that the same as what mine cost, or was it like it was like fourteen hundred actually? Yeah, okay, it was this one. Well, if I knew there was gonna be a better one, I can put all my cool gear in here though. Oh, I can sell this. This merchant will not buy stolen goods? What do you mean, stolen? I don't remember where I got this, but it probably wasn't stolen. I guess it could have been stolen. Do, 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 do. Dragon blood. Uh, I think that's most stuff with any noticeable weight. I guess I can put this here for now. Oh, wait, there's a book. Prayer to the Over God. This immense book explains the history of Ao and the attempts at its priesthood to contact him. It is long, dry, and... Everyone okay? It is a long, dry, and strange record, and since Ao has never responded, it is surprising how positive the scribes have remained. In the hope of getting Ao's attention, it has been enchanted to be able to cast several spells. And for some reason, reading that book killed my frame rate. Crazy. Uh, I'm gonna rest. Uh, one of my concerns is that my character is actually not strong enough 
to uh, take on some of the harder enemies in this module. Not sure what I'll do if uh, that ends up being true. Xanos. Oh, Deacon. Of course I'm happy to see Deacon. Deacon, what are you doing here? He can serve as cook for halflings, he does. Deacon is, um, a very good cook. You not believe that, boss? No? Uh, Deacon follow boss after we last meets. Deacon wants to see world, but Deacon not know where to go. World is so, so big. So, um, Deacon watch boss because Deacon sure boss go on to more adventures. And Deacon was right. When boss leave on caravan, Deacon follow it. Deacon ask halfling girl to hire Deacon on as cook. Then, then Deacon maybe be adventurer too? You want to be an adventurer? Deacon wants to be an adventurer, yes. Deacon could travel with boss's sidekick, maybe? Deacon write the great epic tale of boss's adventure. Alright, hold on. Let me just, uh... Just gotta grab this uh, crossbow, grab a short bow, why not grab some arrow plus ones? You know what, uh, you don't need those potions. Where those potions go? Okay. Wait, Dorna, what do you have equipped? Oh, you don't, you don't need this. You probably don't need this. Um, don't need that. You don't need this. You can keep those. <clears throat> you want to travel with me? Can you fight? Wait, did I, I did I read this part? Just thinks of it. Deacon's story would travel across land and you become famous. What not good about that? Um, a little? Can you cast spells? Lots of few spells. Deacon is a bard, after all, and not a big nasty sorcerer, kobold. Can you at least carry stuff? Bad back. Uh, but Deacon great for morale. Right. Okay, you're in. Yay! You not be sorry. Deacon make best, most epic tale of boss ever. You may only have one henchman at a time. So, when we begins? We killed something now? Alright, Dorna, I have bad news. About you. Uh, I think we need to part ways. Hmm, I don't like the sound of this. But if that's what you want, I guess I have to go along with it. You do! Because I am the protagonist. Uh, just stay here. I don't want to be stuck here for too long, so do what you must and then hurry back. Yep. Definitely I will do that. Changes your mind, Deacon Hope. You take Deacon along again, maybe? Epic tale not finished yet. <sighs> yep, come with me. The boss and her faithful kobold companion were reunited once again. Awesome. Now we have a deacon. Oh dear. Oh, he already had a dagger plus one. Dorna, would you like your dagger back? Ah, uh, don't worry about it. Alright, let's 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 take a look. Level 7 bard. Chaotic good. Uh, strength 6. Not great. I think this is only like plus one strength. Yeah, mm -mm. he really does have a bad back. Uh, Charisma sixteen, pretty good. Constitution surprisingly high. Uh, what skills does he have? He has seventeen lore. Good lord, I don't need to put any more points into lore. Uh, perform thirteen. How does this work? A bard using perform can perform the bard song, which improves their allies' ability to fight in combat and withstand mind-affecting enemies. Perform is essential for any bard who wants to have access to the bard song. Check. None required. The higher the rank in the skill, the better the bard song. Select the skill to affect a 30-foot ray. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Bard song. <clears throat> Bards are able to sing a song that can bolster their allies. 
Deafened creatures are not affected by the bard's singing. The song affects all allies within 30 feet and lasts for 10 rounds. The higher the bard's final perform skill and class level, the better the bard song. All of the bonuses are listed. All of the bonuses listed are additive. Okay, three perform and bard level. Oh, what is, he's seven. Okay, so he has like um. So it's tied to your level. So giving him more perform won't do anything. I think because he's level seven which means level six and 12 perform and he has 13 perform. So he's good on perform. He doesn't need more perform. Uh, good job, Beacon. All right, Bard Acknowledge. Allows the character to identify items more easily than others. It grants the character a bonus equal to their level to any lore checks. It's so good. Uh, he can wear medium armor. Point blank shot. Weapon focus light crossbow. Deacon, I have great news. You now have a light crossbow. Oh, he's got his own crossbow? Um, Bonus feet, point blank shot. Wait, but he already has that. He already has point blank shot. Uh, hello? Game game developers? You, 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 did, you did a redundancy. You made a little mistake. Uh, probably sell for a lot though. This crossbow is finely fashioned and possesses a diamond in its handle that sparkles intensely when looked at. Whether Deacon stole this crossbow out of Timo Ferrar's treasure pile or whether it was given to Deacon is unknown, but the kobold cradles it closely. I guess you can keep your sentimental crossbow. What is this? Cloak of protection plus two. No, sorry, pal, you're gonna get charisma. Um, you're gonna, you're gonna, yeah, there you go. Bolt plus one. Nice. Don't I have like some frost bolts? Where are the frost bolts? Did I sell the frost bolts or am I just blind? Might have sold the frost bolts. Frost bolts are gone. Okay. Rapid reload. What is this? Base attack bonus plus two. Uh, the character is able to reload so quickly that they get the same number of attacks with any crossbow as they would if they were using a normal bow. Wow. What's your what's how many is that, buddy? Uh, looks like one at the moment. I believe attack bonus. If there was two attacks, he'd have a second attack bonus here. So not doing anything yet. Weapon proficiency. Pro, pro, uh, weapon proficiency. Creature. He can use creature weapon. Rogue, simple, shield, medium armor. We need to get you some armor, bud. All right, what do we got? We got bard gloves. Wondrous Glows, Wisdom minus one, bonus spell slots. Yeah. Oh, I've been waiting the whole game for this. You know what? I don't know what this does. Why don't you take it? I don't know what this does. Why don't you take it? Uh, if we don't have a better belt, we might though. Okay, Braces of Armor, not going to work. Where's my boots? Is oh, here they are. Even more Constitution. Oh, it's at 16 now, so he gets a bonus from that. Nice. Now, what does he need? A necklace? Uh, I guess this will do. Is there anything better? Necklace. Boy, never thought about it before, but it would be nice if... Um, if this game uh, had a little sort button. Clonk's Ice Blade. Clonk? Yep, that's what it says. Hey, do you need Ring of the Wolf? You do not, and you also can't use it. Ring of Resistance? Saving Throws Universal, there you go. That's pretty good. Mostly he could use some armor. I don't have any armor I can give him. Maybe I can buy some. I do have a ton of money. Uh, I think that's it for now who sells stuff Trius give me some Pleased good stuff 
<clears throat> now that's a shame. Guide's gone missing. Here we are, stuck in the middle of the desert as the mercy at the mercy of scorpion men. Sounds like it's time for a drink. Drink? Is that all you can think about? Do you have stuff for sale? Uh, I'll join you. I? Then here, I have an extra flask. Don't tell Catriona it came from me, however. Ooh, drink time. You know, I had a woodsy acquaintance once, much like yourself. Had a knack for turning tree sap into a swill that would lay me flat for a week. Wonderful chap. Hmm. I remember this druid who would magically grow grapes in the grove and make the best wine. They found him in a vat one morning. Sad, really. Ah, now that's what I call a remedy for danger. Now then, what can I do for such a lovely lady such as yourself? Such a lovely lady such a lovely lady such as editors? Yes, what do you do around here? How would you like to join me? I don't know about that. Uh, he is a rogue. Rogues are pretty cool. Just what do you do around here anyway? Eh, not much. Catriana's a fine cousin, but she tries to keep me working from dawn to dusk, you know? But the caravan's not so bad, I suppose. If you ever need some goods of the not-so-legitimate kind, now we're talking. You know who to talk to. Never mind the vanilla stock Catriana sells. I'd like to see what you have for sale. You want to see what Tarias has in his booty bag, eh? Well, all right. Just not a word to the cousin or that... Or that's it for my side business. Ooh, padded armor. Chain shirt. Deacon, you're about to get some AC. 400 gold for an average electrical trap. Unfavorable. Um, Amulet of cold resistance. I, I still feel like I might need that. Ring of the wolf does not have cell value. Come on, man. Well, it's maybe unfavorable, but I think it's more favorable than uh, Catriana's because I think these prices are higher. Don't need this. Guess I could have given that to Deacon. Oh, oh, Clonk's Ice Blade, get out of here. Dagger plus one, get out of here. Silver Ring, don't need it. Power Crystal, I thought that was the Dragon's Tooth for a second. I was going to be like, son of a... Uh, 920? You probably don't need emeralds for things. Oh, I'm so rich. All right, you just have normal armors. Um, belt of Agility. 43,000. Okay, this is what I was talking about. It's got freedom on it, which is very useful. But how am I going to... I've been wheeling and dealing for, for 12 hours, and I got 8,000 gold. <sighs> freedom is really good, though. Oh, your stuff's all boring, man. Where's the good stuff? Wait, what's this? Don't need it. <sighs> How's Deacon's uh, weight capacity? Okay, he can he can uh, he can wear some armor. Weight thirty. Studded leather. 3 AC, 4 AC. AC is still going to be really bad. Mm. Well, bark skin will help out. How much is this way? Half as much. Here you go, Deacon. Now he's got 15 AC, which is still really bad. You know what? Maybe... He'd be better off with this than the charisma right now. I feel like you want at least 20 AC. Uh, but anyway, now the game is way better because Deacon is here. You want Deacon? Oh, I can reprimand Deacon. I don't want to reprimand Deacon. He's such he's a fun little guy. Need you to cast a spell. Wait, will he even use the extra spell slots? I don't think I can memorize spells for him. Oh, well. Uh, ooh, can you identify my equipment? I think I have everything identified. Um, all right. 
Oh, I, I should sell the short bow. To see you. I was saving both because I wasn't sure um, what Deacon would be specced into. Uh, but he has a lot of crossbow feet. He's got a point blank shot, which should save him from dying a horrible death. Well, whatever. Um, maybe I'll buy that magic bag from Catriona. I'll think about it on our, our outing here. As we go somewhere. Oh, wait, there's loot bags. No, I don't want to talk to that guy. I want to loot. They had potions? Maybe that was one of the halflings. Stinger poison gland. These glands contain deadly toxic uh, chemicals of great value to alchemists and assassins. Okay, well, maybe they're worth something, I guess. Sounds like a trap ingredient. Oops, I double clicked so it closed. Ox. Okay, there's a road here. We'll go this way. I've got my cool mask. What does this do again? Immunity fear, that's right. That's good. Well, can't go this way. Oh, here we go. There's a hole and some tracks. The stinger tracks are abundant in this area. Hole. This recently buried this recently burrowed hole leads down into what appears to be an underground cave with nothing to tie a rope to and no clear way to descend. Climbing down into the cave may be tricky. I don't have dexterity. Uh, Deke, can you do it? I'm going to take damage. I'm going to leave the hole alone. Is there another entrance? I don't think there is. Wait, I can go talk to... um. Deshnaya? Then I will. To speak with you. Greetings, dear girl. How has your voyage to the great Anorok been so far? Uh, it doesn't seem so great to me. It is a desolate place, that's true. An immense wasteland that stretches for many leagues in every direction. But it was not always so. Once it was great for more than its size. But then, I am sure you have more on your mind than old tales that have mostly been forgotten. What can Deshnaya do for you? Have you ever seen anything like this? Your crystal. It radiates with great power. But it is a form of magic that I have never seen before. Such raw energy. I cannot, however, tell you more of its origin. Not without guessing, and I do not wish to do that. I am sorry. Is there something else I may do? I don't know. What can you do? I can offer you healing. Free, should you need it. I also have a limited supply of potions and scrolls and similar goods. For a small fee, I am afraid. I would also have once offered to look into your future. Alas, I lost my cards to the looting kobolds in Hilltop. Didn't I return your cards? Perhaps one day I'll find some new ones. I... wait a second. I definitely returned her cards. A continuity error? It may not be much assistance to one as skilled and powerful as you are, dear girl, but I can only do what I can. She read my future, right? Am I losing my mind? I would like to see what you have in stock. I do not have much to show you, dear, but you're welcome to see it. Book of fortification. I don't know what that is. What is that? AC and saving throws. Okay, got it. One day it'll come back to me. Lesser belt of guiding light. Oh, here's an immunity fear thing. Actually, not that expensive. And lore plus two. What do I have? Well, that's funny. I don't need this hat at all. I never needed it. I could have sold it to the weird wizard. 
Holy crap, that's a lot of scrolls. I could have used this for that wizard puzzle. Oh, except I can't use um arcane scrolls anyway. Very apt of wisdom. Oh, probably better than the AC amulet at some point. How much wisdom do I have? 18. So in another level, I'm level seven, six. Okay, two more levels and that would be useful. I wanna save all my money and become rich. Ring of clear thought, intelligence. Glittering the okay, normal stuff. Okay, and nothing. Got it. The hell is this? Alright. Where did I even get that belt? I don't remember getting it. Wait, there's more scorpion guys? Oh, here's another hole. Is this hole dangerous? Nope. I mean, yep. Wait, hold on. I have like a dex buff, right? I have at least a potion. What? 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 Eagle splendor. That's probably not dexterity. Bark skin. Bless. Uh, clarity. That's not dexterity. Owl's wisdom. Definitely not dexterity. All right. Let me let me look at my buffs here. Wrong button. Uh, dexterity. No. Full strength. Bark skin. Um, wait, do I really only have bull's strength? Where's the other stuff? Where's the other stuff? Hmm. I guess that's a cleric thing. Let's see if anyone has potions. Any new Bark skin. Pleased to see you. Uh, cat's grace. That's it, right? That's got to be it. I'm trying to juice our numbers a little bit. Cat's grace. That's it. That's all we got. Well, better than nothing, I guess. Oh, I've managed to climb down the hole unscathed. That was probably worth 200 gold. Now we're in the weird tunnel. Oh, hello. Yes, Deacon, what is it? Um, Deacon just wonders if Dwarf Wizard be okay. You know, since we kobolds uh, poisoned him. Yes, Deacon not hurts him, but Deacon still feels guilty. Deacon goes on raid with other kobolds after all. Well, it turned out Drogon recovered just fine. It's good that you're worried, but Drogon came through it okay. Okay. Deacon happy, then. Deacon not like what kobolds do. Old Master tells us to make raid on human village, but kobolds make raid anyway. Well, not tells us. Kobolds make raid anyway, despite what Deacon say. They did that of their own accord? Deacon never fits in with other kobolds. Old Master used to tell Deacon that Deacon too smart, but... Kobold Chieftain be smart too, and he can not be like him either. 
uh, perhaps it's your imagination which, make, which makes you different. Are you really all that different? Why do you think you never fit in then? I don't really need to hear any whining from you. I'm goal with number one. You think Deacon got imagination? That nice thing to say. Other kobolds not got imagination. All they think about is stupid stuff. They say Deacon is weak and strange. Old Master not thinks Deacon so strange, though. Old Master teach Deacon lots instead and make Deacon special. Deacon misses Old Master a little. I thought you wanted Timo Farrar dead. Deacon not want Old Master dead. Deacon just want to be free. Well, you're free now. Congratulations. Yes, Deacon never see real desert before. He reads about it, but never sees it. It makes Deacon want to sing. He is so happy. Though Deacon wonder if maybe he was not safer back with old master. Deacon thinks boss live very dangerous life. Well, we're safer together, aren't we? He was right, boss. Of course. Deacon feel much better. Deacon wonder one last thing. Was Dwarf Fairy mad at Deacon for breaking a little tower statue? No. Actually, in a strange way, it helped us out. Oh, well, Deacon glad about that then. Deacon not really one angry dwarf looking for him, you knows. Um, Deacon thinks this place be creepy. Maybe we should go now, boss. Deacon actually shows up in the next campaign and you can use him as your little sidekick for that whole thing too. they put a weird little guy in their games. Did I? Oh, I, I never summoned my creature. Bark skin the creature. There are too many people in this hallway. I've just unlocked an achievement. If there's a weird little guy, I love him. Yeah, same. I love the weird little guys. Oh, we got Bard Song. Let's take a look. Reflex saving throw increased. I keep hitting the microphone. I'm so sorry. Fortitude saving throw. Will saving throw. Dexterity increased. That's a weird one. Wait, but it didn't. My dexterity is not increased. Unless my potion wore. Oh, wait, no, that's probably just from the potion. Okay. Damage resistance. Where's that? Well, doesn't really say, unless I'm blind again. Damage increased, attack increased, skill increased. All right, let's murder these weird guys. Good job, Deacon. Um, oh. Caravan camp, deeper into the tunnel. Okay, so there's actually three holes. I wonder if there was one that didn't require a dexterity check. Let's go deeper. Who's stuck back here? Deacon, 